Here's how to build anything with DeepSeek R1. All right, so first place you can start is go to DeepSeek, then you're gonna go to chat.deepseek.com. I'll be showing you many different ways to automate and build anything you like with DeepSeek today. But let's start off inside the chat here. You're gonna make sure that you have DeepSeek R1 selected, and you can also use the web search now as well. So if you select web search, you can also search the web. We'll come on to that in a minute. Now inside chat.deepsea.com, you can actually just run HTML with anything that you build directly in here. So if we say, for example, create a Space Invaders game, what it's gonna do is number one, plan out exactly how it's gonna build it. So you can see the sort of inner monologue here. I need to create a Space Invaders game using Python and Pi game. Let me start by recalling the basic structure of a Pi game application. And then it's gonna start off figuring out exactly how to build it, how to set up the bullets, the enemies, etc., collision detection. And then we can just build out a game in literally one single prompt, right? Absolutely amazing that you can do that. And again, this is all completely free. Like you don't need to pay for any of this and you just build whatever you want. It's never been easier to build websites, tools, apps, games, whatever you want directly inside DeepSeek R1, absolutely amazing tool. If you want to run it directly inside the chat, you can just say build it in HTML. What I'll actually do is take the Python code that you've got right here and turn it into HTML that you can run directly inside the chat. So you'll see a run HTML option right there. And then once this is finished coding, which won't take long at all, we can then run the HTML for the game that we've just built. And you can use this process with DeepSeek R1 to basically do anything like this. The good thing about DeepSeek R1 is that it's a reasoning model, right? So it's got logic. It's very good at coding, very good at planning things out, very good at reasoning. If we click on H run HTML here, you can see we've got the game ready to go. I can scroll between, I've got the enemies coming in towards me and I've got the green thing that I can just move around right here, right? Pretty amazing, just worked perfectly first time round. And we just built a game that used to take coders literally dozens, if not hundreds of hours to build. So pretty amazing stuff right there. And that was just one of the methods, all right? So use chat.com, make sure you have deep things selected. And then from there, you can start using whatever you want. Now, another way to build anything you want directly with DeepSeek R1, so you can actually download it from Olama and then run it locally on your laptop, right? So you can have the AI running locally on your laptop. You don't need to use the web and obviously any sort of projects you create are stored offline. So if you wanna do that, all you do is you go to olama.com, download this, it's completely free, and then if you type in DeepSeek here, you'll see DeepSeek R1 pop up, right? And this is the latest model from DeepSeek. Now there are actually many distilled models. Distilled models are basically the reasoning patterns of larger models distilled into smaller models so that you can have better performance compared to the reasoning patterns discovered, but these are fine-tuned so that you can run them locally, right? And these can be quite a lot smaller. So you can see the benchmarks here in terms of how it compares, say, versus OpenAI 01 Mini, your DeepSeek version 3, DeepSeek R1, and you can see DeepSeek R1 is basically smashing all the benchmarks right there. Now, if you want to run this locally, once you've installed Olama, make sure that you've got it open, all right? So you can just press Command and Space, type in Olama, open up Olama 2, we're good to go. And you can see it in the top right there as the icon. Make sure you've got that running. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to copy this, open up Terminal, and literally all you do is you just copy and paste that command, right? From here, we've got DeepSeek R1 running. For example, if I say, what model are you? It says, I'm DeepSeek R1, an AI assistant, independently developed by the Chinese company DeepSeek Inc. And so we've now got Deep running locally in what, literally two clicks, so simple and easy to do. You can actually download loads of different models from Olama and all of these are free to run. So for example, like Gwen, Llama, Code Llama, whatever you want basically. You can see like it's an almost endless list of different AI models that you can install. Right. Now, once you've installed it locally and you've got it running like you can see, we can start building whatever we want. So what you can see in here is that I actually asked DeepSeek R1, what are you, what are you doing, etc. And we've got this running. Now, what I've said is create a beautifully designed SEO cost calculator, keyword equals cost calculator, link out to this page, here's the brand colors, add some content on the page. It started doing that straight off the bat. It's actually pretty fast and responsive and we've got the code being created for the HTML page right there. And the other thing to note here is like you've got many different models distilled for DeepSeek R1. So for example, I'm using the 7B model that's pretty fast and light and quick to use. You can go all the way down to the 671B model. That is 404 gigabytes to install. So obviously it's gonna take a lot longer to install and it's gonna require more memory to run it. So it's just gonna be a lot slower when you're running it offline, unless you have some super powerful laptop, right? So honestly, I would recommend the 7B model for what you want. And we've got the code being 
built out there. It's actually finished now. So let's grab that HTML. Um, we can actually preview it, right? So let me grab this. And if you want to preview this stuff, we can just paste that code in right there. And we have the HTML preview of the website we just built using DeepSeek R1 local. Super simple, easy to use, built out quickly, and that didn't take long at all. That's the second method, right? So method number one was with chat.deepseek.com. That's probably the simplest and fastest way to build out stuff and also to leverage the full power of it, right? You can also run it locally using Olama. Then you go into terminal. You're just going to type in Olama run deepseek r1. Once you've installed it, then you're going to have deepseek r1 ready to go. And sometimes I just leave it in the background and then come back to it when I need to. And then it can build out whatever you want. So we built out Space Invaders using chat.deepseek.com. We built out a one-page website using the local version of DeepSeek. It's absolutely amazing you can do all of this stuff. I don't have any coding experience, but I feel like I could code most of the basic things I've got ideas for using this process. Now, we can also build things using a combination of DeepSeek R1 and Bolt DIY. This is great for building out tools, any apps, that sort of thing, because Bolt DIY is purposely created for that, right? And it can actually launch multiple different AI models directly inside it, including the latest version of DeepSeek R1. It's pretty simple. You can just host it locally. Let me show you exactly how to do this. So I'm going to shut down Olama, then we'll shut down Terminal, and then we're going to open up a new window of Terminal, and we're just going to grab the commands from the page like you can see right here. So let's paste this in. You're going to clone the GitHub, then you're going to take this command. And again, this is free as well, right? So every method that I've covered so far is completely free. All right, Bolt DIY is free, chat.deepseek is free, Olama is free, all, right? all these methods are completely free. So now we've launched that inside the terminal, just copying and pasting the commands from the GitHub page. We can open up this URL, and the reason that we would use Bolt to build something out is that it's purposely designed for just bringing ideas to life, right? So for example, let me show you a previous project we've built using Bolt. One of the good things about Bolt is if you go to the left and inside the chat, all the projects that you built previously, you can see inside the chat right here. So for example, like keyword research tools, content readability analyzer, analyzer tools, meta tag generators, content optimizer tools, landing pages, etc. Whatever you want to build, you can do it inside Bolt. And for example, this is a to-do list app. If we test this out, we can add test to-do list app and now building SaaS tools is basically achievable for anyone right like you don't need coding experience for doing this right and so basically if you want to start using deep r1 inside here you would actually use something called open router now if you want to get access to open router I'll show you how to do that in a sec what you don't want to do is you're not going to select deep seek because it doesn't have the models that you want right so instead you're going to select open router and then this is so many different AI models a little bit like Olama but it's not stored locally and then for example we can choose R1 or R1 distilled now to get this set up and working inside Bolt all you do is you go to openrouter.ai then you're going to go to keys grab an API key from this section right here open router is a paid API but it doesn't cost a lot of money as you can see like it's less than a dollar it's super cheap to use if we actually go to my usage off top ten dollars I've absolutely rinsed it. I YouTube about this stuff every single day and I've used sense, right? So it's pretty hard to spend your whole credits, honestly. Now from here, inside Bolt, you just go to your settings. Then you're gonna go to providers inside your settings. You can see all these different AI models that you can use. Uh, make sure you have open router selected. Then from here, you're good to go. You can also host this with Alama as well. And then you can select open router, select DeepSeek, and you're good to go. So for example, here I've said, create a beautiful synth keyboard app, and I'll help you create that beautiful synth keyboard app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll use a web audio API for sound synthesis and Byte for the development environment. Now it's coding off the whole project, so it's created the index HTML package style CSS. It's basically just building out the whole app using the one single prompt that I've used. And you can see we have DeepSeek R1 selected down here. Again, this is a distilled model just because it's a lot faster. You could use the main model of R1, but I think it'd be a lot slower and it wouldn't be as effective in this situation. And now it's come back with the synth keyboard. So pretty easy and simple to set up the synth keyboard. Like you see, it's a nice little app ready to go there. And then also we can go over to the code section and you can actually push this to GitHub for free. Also you can download the codes and then you can host it with something like Netlify so that you can get your website, your app, your tool hosted on a custom domain. Really simple and easy to do. You just download the code, drag and drop the folder directly into Netlify, boom shakalaka, you live in the dream, my friend.
So just to recap, we've covered how to build anything with DeepSea Chat. We've also covered how to run this locally and then build tools and apps and websites using that process. And additionally, we've covered how to build with Bolt local, which is super powerful. You can also use it with a lot of free APIs. And additionally, you can download the code. And this is custom made for building like apps, tools, websites, etc. Let's move on to how you can automate anything now using DeepSeek R1. So to do that, you're going to go to mate.com. Mate.com is an automation tool where you can easily build sort of any workflows you want. So for example, if we go into mate.com here, then we're going to navigate to scenarios. Inside scenarios, you can see all these custom made tools that are built. And a couple of ones that I've recently done with DeepSeek R1 this week. And number one, an email virtual assistant that can automate my emails that come in and answer them and that sort of thing. So basically, this is taking my email inbox, running it through DeepSeek via Open Router, and then plugging it back into Gmail to create a draft. Here's another example. So you can see we are taking some keywords from a Google Sheet. We're plugging that through DeepSeek R1. So we've got the model selected as DeepSeek R1. And then that's sending the output directly to WordPress to plug in a block. Let me show you how to set all of this up. And by the way, make.com is actually free for a certain amount of automations. So it's pretty easy and simple to use. The way that you would set this up is you add a new module. So for example, let's say you want to take a Google Sheet. Then you can connect that data over to Open Router. So we can type in Open Router over here, create a chat completion. Add in your credentials and then make sure you have DeepSeek R1 selected. Now, again, DeepSeek Distill R1 is going to be much faster than the main version of DeepSeek R1. Just something to bear in mind when you're using the API here. And then once you've done that, you can connect it to whatever app you want. And your only real limit in terms of building tools of make.com is your imagination because you can connect it to almost anything right here. Now, once you've done that, like you can see, basically what this is going to do let me show you an example. So we'll choose a keyword manually from our Google Sheet. So it's going to take the data from the Google Sheet. So for example, Newark SEO, then it's going to plug that through Open Router via DeepSeek R1. Then once that's done, it's going to plug it into WordPress. So let me show you exactly how this works step by step. So we're going to run this. It's going to take the keyword like it's done from the Google Sheet. Now it's running the keyword with my custom made prompt for creating content directly through Open Router. Now you can get a module for DeepSeek inside mate.com, but I find it's very error prone. It doesn't seem to work first time most of the time, and it's a bit of a nightmare to use, honestly. So I'd recommend using Open Router directly. And once that's done, you're going to see an example like this. So it's going to be plugged into my drafts inside WordPress, and you can see it's customized everything for our business using the custom made prompt. It's even got the internal links inside the content, which is pretty nice for SEO. Super easy and simple to do using the prompts that I've given you. And also it's funneling traffic to funnel pages, right? So for example, it says booking a call or join the SEO lead circle inside our article that we just automated using DeepSeek R1. Pretty amazing stuff, super powerful. And you can build almost anything that you want using this process. You can also see the outputs. So once this automation is finished, you can see the automation choices from the output. So it's actually output it in HTML and then WordPress has plugged that directly into our website. Pretty powerful stuff and really easy to do. Now, if you download Visual Studio Code, which is a free tool for your laptop, you can host this locally. And then once you've done that, if you open up Visual Studio Code, like you see right here, then you're gonna install Klein as an extension. They've actually just got a brand new update, which is Klein 3.25. Once you've installed that, then you're gonna go down to Klein on the bottom left here, and inside the settings, just make sure that you have your open router key set up and you're going to select your favorite model of DeepSeek. And once that's done, we can easily start building out whatever we want and you can just build out websites like you can see. Pretty easy and simple to do using the DeepSeek R1 method. Now, the other thing to note here is it's super cheap when you're using the API from open router. So you can see this costs us $0.0121, right? So like one cent to build out a whole web page and get it designed step by step. And you can basically build anything you want. Like you could say, okay, build me a synth keyboard, build me a to-do list app, whatever you wanna build, you can do it directly inside Clang. The final method that I wanna show you is how to build your own sort of chat GPT operator, right? So obviously chat GPT operator, it came out recently, it's like $200 a month, and it's very restricted in terms of what it can do and how free it is. If you use something like browser use web UI, you actually get a lot more freedom and it can basically do anything. For example, when you're using ChatGPT operator, you can't even access YouTube, but directly inside browser web UI with DeepSeek R1, you can. Let me show you how to set this up. 
so you can build your own custom AI agents that can control your browser. So what I usually do, if it's a bit buggy or you can't figure out how to set it up on Terminal, you can just grab all the content from the GitHub, go into Claude and just say how to set this up on a Mac. And it will usually work first time around if you just copy and paste these commands directly into Terminal like you can see right here. So this is getting set up now. We've now got browser web UI running locally. And the next thing you want to do is just make sure you have Olama running again. And then from there, go into Terminal, start a new window and run the command for Terminal, which is Olama space run space deepseek hyphen R1 colon latest. All right, that's going to set up. So now you've got two things running, which are Olama and deepseek R1 along with browser web UI. So if we now take that URL, open it up, you can see that we can go to LM configuration and we can get our agent to browse the web, do whatever you want, and we just have to give it the instructions over here. So if you want to set this up with DeepSeek, honestly, DeepSeek is a little bit slow when you're using this process, then you would actually go to Olama. Inside here, you're going to use DeepSeek latest as a model. And then in the base URL, you're going to use the local host for Llama and just make sure it is running in the background. Once you've done that, you've got the LM configuration set up for DeepSeek R1, and now you can run your agent. So for example, if we click on run agent, it gives us the processing time, and you can see that it's opening up a new tab here. Additionally, if you go to results, you can see that the agent is working its magic in the background. Little pro tip for you here, I actually recommend using Google AI Studio for this process because it's got vision, and it's a free API as well, so it's not gonna cost you anything. And if you just go to create an API, grab the API key from AI Studio, copy that over, go back to LM configuration, select Gemini, and that'll be a lot faster when you're using this model. Either way, whether you're using DeepSeek R1 or whether you're using Gemini, you can run this agent. It's gonna open up Chromium, which is a virtual environment for the AI agent to just go off and do its magic. Now you can see it's typing into Google, using our prompt, and it's actually pretty fast. Once it's done, you'll see a video of the agent and you'll see the result from the AI agent getting back to you. And so now you know how to build anything with DeepSeek R1, whether it's locally inside the chat with Klein, Bolt DIY, make.com, you can automate anything and with browser web UI. You can build your own alternative to chat GPT operator using DeepSeek R1. Absolutely amazing what you can do. If you want to get all the video notes from today, including all the step-by-step -step tutorials and access on exactly how to do all this stuff, get my free course link in the comments description and then if you log in go to ai agents all the step-by-step -step video tutorials on exactly how to do all this stuff in more detail for deep sea guy one inside that free seo course you're also going to get a community of 3500 members a free seo course 53 ai seo tools and 200 free chat gpt prompts now if you want to get a free one-to-one -one seo strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot feel free to book that in on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a custom tailored link building game plan so you can generate more leads, sales and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. Or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors with link building and how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients. Feel free to put that in. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.